This example gives us log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of 3x plus 5 equals 4. Anytime you're solving a logarithmic equation like this, you first use the properties of logarithms to condense it so it's easier to work with. So here I'm going to use this property, log base b of a minus log base b of, let's call it c, equals, you combine them into a single log, and the minus outside becomes divide inside. Log base b of a over c. So I combine it into a single log. All right, back to our example then. This is log base 2 of, OK, this combines into a single log. So x over 3x plus 5. The minus outside became divide inside equals 4. The next thing we do is convert this into an exponential equation so we can solve it. We can do that by either taking both sides, base 2. Notice the 2 and the, and the log base 2 cancel out, essentially. They undo each other because they're inverses. Um, another way to think of this is you just convert it using the old standard method. You take 2, you take your base, around about to the power of 4, okay, and then back inside for the equals. So equals x over 3x plus 5. That's the way I usually do it, but either one of those ways works fine. Okay, we're doing good. Now we need to solve this. 2 to the 4th is 16. So this gives us 16 equals x over 3x plus 5. Hmm, we need to isolate the x at this point. Let's multiply up to get that out of the denominator. This gives us 16 times 3x plus 5 equals x. Okay, it's a little challenging to get these x's isolated from here. The next thing you do is distribute the 16 through. A lot of people miss that step. So let's go ahead and distribute it. So we have 48x plus, let's see, 16 times 5, I'm thinking 80 equals x. Now let's get all the x's on one side, everything else on the other. So 48x minus x, I subtracted an x from both sides, equals negative 80. I got that from subtracting 80 from both sides. Okay, progress. 47x equals negative 80. Well, that's a strange fraction. Solving that out gives us x equals negative 80 over 47. And it's tempting to say there's our answer, but not so fast. Right, look at this original equation. The domain, okay, the domain of log base 2 of x is 0 to infinity. And this actually holds for any log base b of x. Okay, so this could be log base 5 of x. This could be log of x, which is simply log, of, log base 10 of x. Or it could be natural log of x. This is the domain for all these logs. Well, this number is not in that domain, right? This is a negative number. Only positive numbers can go into log. That's what it's saying right here. Try it in your calculator. It's going to give you an error. Only positive numbers can go into log, not even zero. You can't even put in zero. So this doesn't go in. It's an extraneous solution. OK, that's what we call it when in, in a solution appears to be a solution, but it's really not. We say it's an extraneous solution. Um, well, that was the only solution we had. So what does that mean? Well, that means we can write one of two things. We could write no solution. OK, no solution for an answer here. That's a good answer. You could also write, um, just simply write the empty set. Right? Empty set means this is the set with nothing in it. So we're offering our set of solutions, and we're saying, look, our set of solutions is empty because there are no solutions.